In this video, we're going to do a brief overview of the new features in Dolphin Mobile 4.5. And you'll notice right away that the home screen has changed, but you can also edit this home screen and you can move around the different pieces and activate or deactivate each of the tiles as you see fit. So right here, I'm going to change the billing party in doctor's order. But again, I can drag that patient's tile back to the top spot and you'll see right away that um, it has changed. You'll see a hamburger menu on the left. So if you click on that, you can jump to any other part of the application. In this particular case, I'm gonna to jump to a patient's record. I can see all of their contact information. I can click on the patient's image and pull up their images. And this can be selected by time point. So you'll see here, I'll pull up the CBCT time point and view in the individual image. And all of this is pulling real time from my database. The next thing I'll do is show the appointments for this individual patient. This is the balance summary for the individual patient. Now, if I wanna show side-by-side -side images, if I were at a lunch with another professional, or if I just wanted to view before and after photos, I can do that with ease, and I can scroll through each side or each time point independently, as you'll see here. I can also view the patient's documents. So any letters that I've created for this individual, I can pull up at any point in time from my phone. And also if I want to view the treatment card, I can view treatment card entries, I can view my tooth chart or my visual tooth chart. I can also add a treatment card comment here as well. And I'll show that a little bit later in greater detail. Now, if I want to look at doctors or referring parties, I can pull up my referral list. In this case, Peter Pacman. This will also give me all of Peter Pacman's contact information as well as the statistics for this individual doctor and all of the patients that were referred into my practice by this person. I can also view the schedule. The schedule is gonna give me statistics based on the individual day. And I can see a list of all of the people that are coming in for my day. I can see a summary of all the appointment types and then any, any day notes uh, for the given day. Now this is a side-by-side -side view of Dolphin Mobile and Dolphin Management. And I'm gonna show care calls, how care calls work in Dolphin Mobile. So when I click on a care call tile, it's gonna show me any care calls that are active. And you'll see it loading here. I can jump to the patient's treatment card if I want a quick overview of what's going on with the patient. I can add a time point and create any type of note. That note is live, so as soon as I hit save or close the call, the people in my office or my staff members will know that that call has been taken care of. In that case, I just kept it open. And in this case, I will add another time point and I will close the call. If you click on the green button, it will activate your phone feature in your phone and you can call the person directly. And here I am closing the call and you'll see the status now changes from open to closed. The next thing I'm gonna show here is a questionnaire. And I'm gonna open up Dina Dolphin, and I'm gonna choose my questionnaire. So in this case, I just chose a dummy demo questionnaire called Demo Example, which has limited questions. And I'll load the questionnaire. 
And on the left-hand side, you're gonna see me launch the patient's treatment card. So you can see that Dina's nickname is Dina, and you can see Dina's high school, and so on. What I'm gonna do is add an email address or answer the questions in the questionnaire on the right-hand side, which is done on a mobile device or an iPad. And these questions can be anything that you want them to be. I'm just choosing um, some very simple things to demo the idea. So after it's saved, it's locked. So the patients don't have the ability to jump through your database. They would have to know the pin to do that. So as soon as it's locked, they would hand it back to you and you can go on your way. Now, as a staff member, I would jump into the treatment card, go to the questionnaire, and I'll see that there is a filled out questionnaire that Dina just filled out. And you'll see the answers on the left-hand side there. And now I have the ability to override the patient's information that's currently in my database. And you'll notice that there's a yellow box over Xavier or the patient's high school. That is because Xavier doesn't match any school that's in my database. So what I'm gonna do is add Xavier to my schools and I'm just gonna enter in dummy information so you can see what that looks like. Um, and also notice that it, the Xavier does not match the existing value within uh, my program. So if by error I entered in a wrong school or anything like that or schools changed, um, I can override that information and all of the information Dina gave me um, overrides it and you can see that her nickname changed from Dina to Dina Dina Dina. The next thing I'm going to do is go to the treatment card. And if you click on this little plus icon, it will allow me to choose an assistant or a doctor. In this case, I'm going to choose both and I'm going to enter in a comment. And this comment can be anything you want it to be. And it's going to save in green like the current comment that is in the patient's treatment card already. The next thing I'm gonna do is show Aquarium. So Aquarium gives you access to all of the videos in Aquarium, assuming that you have the Aquarium module, and you can play those directly from a mobile device. And on the left-hand side, you're gonna see me launch or relaunch Dina Dolphin's treatment card. And you'll see that the school was updated and then the comment uh, that I just entered in Dolphin Mobile is also entered. I'm going to move back out of Aquarium and I'm going to enter a treatment card image. So when I do that, I choose my location. I can take my picture with my mobile device, whether it's an iPad, iPhone, or Android device. So when I have my photo, I'm going to click OK. It's going to save it. It's going to ask me if I want to take another one and I'm going to do that. And you can take as many photos as you'd like. And as an example, I'm going to take two. Hit OK again. Now those images are saved. I'm going to jump back to Dolphin Management. I'm going to add from mobile. And you'll see that I have two images that I'm able to apply to this patient's treatment card. And if I right click on these images, I can edit them. So I'm gonna to go to edit and I'm gonna add a caption. And you can put whatever text you want in here. So in this case, I'm gonna put great picture in one. And then since this one is blurry, I'm going to put in yucky picture. And I can click between them. When I hit okay, you'll now see that there's two images in that time card slot. And if on the lower left, I have that activated, I can see the entry images right there. The next thing I'm gonna do is use Dolphin Mobile to sign a document. So I'm gonna choose a federal truth and lending document that I wanna have signed. 
And I'm going to merge the document, and you're going to see Microsoft Word open here shortly. And on the right hand side, you're going to see Dolphin Mobile is open, and there's an option for a capture signature. So I'm going to click on that and give the device to the person that I want to have sign it. And they can just use their finger. In this case, I'm going to use my mouse and hit submit. And then on the left hand side, you're going to go to the add ons tab in Microsoft Word, click where you want the signature to go in your document. And then choose Dolphin Mobile and you'll see the signature just drop right where you had the cursor. And you can move the signature around where you want it to be. And now I'm going to close this and change the status to signed. And then I'm going to reopen the document just to show that the digital signature is still there. And this is all done using Dolphin Mobile.